I'm going to show you how you can enable file share auditing on Windows Server. So the first thing I'm going to do is deploy the audit policy settings using group policy. So I'm on my primary domain controller and then I'm going to open up the group policy management. And then under group policy objects, we can right click and do new. And then for our GPO, I will call it audit policies file shares and then press OK to create the GPO. And then we can right click and edit. Within the GPO, we want to come to computer configuration, policies, Windows settings, security settings, and then advanced audit policy configuration, and then audit policies. Within here, we can drill down to object access. And then the one that we'll want to enable is audit file system. So we can just double click, configure the following audit events, and then enable success and failure. Once they're ticked, we can press apply and okay. And then that is our group policy created. We can then close our editor. And then now we just need to link this to our servers. Now we don't need to link this to every device in the domain. We just need to link this to the organizational unit that has our file share servers on it. In mine, if I just drill down to my company OU, and then I've got a servers OU. So I'll just link this to all of my Windows servers. And then okay. And I'll also just link it to my domain controllers as well. As this demo, my file share is on a domain controller. So now we've got our GPO deployed. What I'm going to do is just do a quick GP update, just so my machine pulls down this latest policy. In a production environment, you wouldn't need to do this. You would just leave it to automatically update. But for this demo, I'm just going to force it so it's quicker. So now our group policy is up to date. The next thing we want to do is find our file share on our server. I might just call share. And then I'm going to right click and come to properties. And then under properties, we can come to security and then advanced. Now I'm going to assume that you've already got your file share permissions already set up and working. So what we need to do now is come to the auditing tab and then we can press add, select the principal. The way I do this is search for everyone and then check names so that anyone who is accessing this file share or any files or folders within it will get an audit log. So once we've selected everyone, we can change the type to all, leave it to this folder, subfolders and files. And then if we clear all the permissions and then show advanced permissions, the ones that you'll want is create files slash write data, create folders slash append data, delete subfolders and files, and then delete. So what this does is anytime a file is created, it will write an event to the event viewer. Anytime a folder is created, it will write an event to the event viewer. And then anytime a subfolder or file is deleted, it will write an event to the event viewer. What you can also do is enable list folder slash read data. What this will do is anytime a file is opened, it will, it will also write an event to the event viewer. So I'm going to select those five options. Now, just because we've selected everyone, this doesn't actually modify any of the permissions on the file share. So if people have only got read access, it doesn't allow them to delete or create files. This doesn't impact the permissions whatsoever. They're still done from the permissions tab. This is just for the audit logging. So now we've got this set up how we want. We can press OK and then apply. And then that has now applied our audit policy. So we can just press OK to close out of that and then OK to close out of the share properties. And then we can just close our file explorer and our GPO as it's no longer required. So if we open up the event viewer on the server that is hosting up our file share and then come to Windows logs and then security, what we can do now is we can now access our file share from a machine. So I've logged onto my Windows 11 PC. And if I open up File Explorer and access the file share, what I can do is start creating and modifying some files. So I'll create a new text document. I will put some content in it and save it. And I'll create a new folder. And then within the folder, I'll just create a new text document, call it test. And then I can put some data in there as well. And then close out. So we've got our file share and we've got some folders. So if I now come back to my domain controller, that's hosting the file share and then refresh the event viewer, we should see a handful of file system events. So if we look through these, we can see that the file was accessed by the account AD administrator. That was when I was setting up the permissions. And then this one should be the ones I've just done. 
So we can say I created a new text document. So we've got the object name, which is the local path of the server, not the share path. And we can see we've got write data or add files as the access request. And we can see that it was done by the user account ad backslash Danny. And then if we just go through these events, we can see that we've got our write data. So this one is the creating the text documents. The next one is adding the content and saving it. So we can see that we've created now the new text documents. And then we can see that it was then deleted because it was renamed to test. And then we've also got the one for modifying and creating a new folder called new folder. So we can see that our audit policy is now working and any changes that are made to our file share is being logged to the server. Now what I'll do is I'll just go back and if I just delete both of these, that'll delete all of the files and folders from the share. And if I come back to the event viewer, we can see there's new events available. So if I refresh, we should see the delete request for the new text document. An object was deleted for the folder that was deleted as well. And then the test file that was in the folder, we can see there's the delete request. So that's how you can set up audit policies for Windows Server file shares.